Right, hello, I'm Debs. This is Debs Made This, and this is So Upcycle 2022 The Reveal. So Upcycle 2022 is, as you probably know, uh, a challenge being run by Karen, So Little Time, and Becky Notes from a sewing room. Um, I'll put all the info in the bottom bit. Um, and I had some big old plans. Uh, and I've managed to make one thing, well, two things. So this is the Halley jumpsuit by named Patterns. Um, it is a jumpsuit. Uh, there we go. It is a jumpsuit. Um, but obviously has like a wrap at the front, so it's like an old kind of skirt. Um, and I've made it from a vintage bedsheet. That came from my auntie Maureen in Norfolk. Sorry, too. Um, and the first iteration, my plan originally was to dye with rhubarb. That wouldn't work because I needed then to have a hot pot outside. And we, as you probably know, had a small puppy. So that wasn't going to work. So I'd used the dial on dye and dyed it pale blue with a vintage trim. So this is the pale blue version. You can see, um, as I'm having a little dig around, uh, that um, I think the fit's put in, it's put in a little bit of extra room at the back, but I think that's okay. The trim looks nice, um, it's kind of how I envisioned So you can see the length of the tie here, which is just completely ridiculous. I moved across, I'm re-recording for the third time on the third subsequent day. Um, I know, I'm just selfless. Uh, so, having made the blue one, I kind of took a long hard look at it and then I just decided there was absolutely no point in me keeping it because I was never going to wear it. I quite liked the colour, it looked okay, uh, but it just wasn't going to be something I was going to reach for. And mostly because of that tie, um, which would, let's be straightforward, it would end up down the toilet, like the first time I wore it, definitely. Um, and I, I don't... I love named patterns, but I don't understand that as a design feature in a jumpsuit. It's fine in a dress because you don't have to undo it, but if in a jumpsuit you've got to undo that item clothing every time you go to the loo, so it's just not going to work. So um, there was loads of other ways that I could have solved this problem. And I did look at buckles, D-rings, um, having a double tie, all of those things. And in the end, I just kind of went with the simplest solution, really. I went through my stash and found a button and um, used a button and some elastic, and I'll insert a picture here. But what I did was to plait uh, three pieces of mask elastic from when I was making masks. So I've got this huge big reel of that elastic, and it obviously is really robust, it's really stretchy, it coats with being washed hot and all the rest of it. So I just wove that into a three strand plait and made a loop. Um, the button came from textile garden maggie at textile garden is fantastic she had really lovely buttons and the, it's it's brother work went to be a jennifer lauren handmade coat a few years back so that was just sitting in my stuff i think it's made of horn um and inside i use the same kind of idea i have an elastic and with a button on the end and again i'll put a picture in because i'm sure you won't be able to see um and then a loop and i really like this this really cute little vintage and the colour match wasn't good enough for me to feel happy about putting it on the outside. I did think about putting it on like the leading edge of the wrap so that you got a bit of a flash of it, but the colour was like it's too different for me. I noticed the difference, so I wasn't happy to do that. So I stuck with I stuck with that. And um, and what that means is that though both sections, sorry, let me put on a torch book, both sections of those are really stretchy, and when you sit down, there isn't that kind of tightness across the waistline which doesn't feel very pleasant so i think what i've ended up with is a really wearable garment okay pattern information so this is the jumpsuit version of the halley wrap jumpsuit um which comes in a jumpsuit and a dress i haven't made the dress yet i might not make the dress because i've got the by hand london hannah wrap is a really nice wrap dress which i'm very happy with um but we'll see i know there's um kristen at the daily society and cloth edit ladies name Gabrielle and um, I'm running a challenge with wraps in it so you know I'm never not going to say never I might end up with a with a dress version this month we'll see um I made according to my measurements which was a 14 on the top and a 16 at the waist 
um, and then I think I should grade back it out in again to a 14 at the hip but I'm not sure whether I did that or not. Um, I added an inch to the arms which is my a, one of my usual adjustments. I did not change the bodice length which is important so I have a shorter than average torso and normally take out about two centimetres up to an inch out of the bodice length in any pattern. In this I did not need to. This hits me exactly where I would expect it to hit me. Um, I think if it was any shorter I would it would not feel very comfortable. I might get away with it at the back but I don't think I would at the front and I think that's been a pattern for me before. I think in named bodices I haven't had to make adjustments before either. Um, so uh, the instructions were very clear. The only bit that I struggled with was a bit of my own um, devising which was trying to get rid of that flipping tie and produce another way um, and I'm quite pleased with how it's turned out. The next project that I did get round to doing was one that I'd kind of forgotten about because um, I did it at the start and that was a transformation of a uh, used in loose terms transformation of a one of my husband's old work shirts um, which I kind of was tempted just to steal as it was and then I decided that I would try and multitask and combine my toile of the Lyra bodice which I must be the only person on the planet who hasn't made that dress um, and if you have made it and you can offer me any advice about the body and fitting will you just leave it down below because it looks to me like it's a little bit oversized which was why I wanted to do it and I think in the end I did what I often do, end up doing with patterns and just um, reduce despite the fact I've got quite square shoulders reducing the shoulder width by a little bit Sorry, that's our microwave. My husband is having his lunch. Um, so what I hadn't accounted for was when I took off the back and side pieces to kind of adjust them, that actually because it's a man's pattern and I brought a bigger size pattern, the arm's eye is too low. So I didn't have enough material to keep the original collar and to get the front bodice piece to fit on the original bodice piece. Um, so what I ended up doing was ending up with a little contrast stripe go day in the um in the armpit in the axilla on both sides and you can see uh, obviously now i have a bus dart which wasn't present in my husband's original shirt i half wish i hadn't done that and what i might end up doing is to take them off completely um but i just kind of had a vision in my head and i'm just not quite sure about the final thing so um i will insert a picture of it on the mannequin here um, and I'll insert a picture of it on me if I can work out what to put it with. So that's that's another question. So if so, this is kind of semi fitted, um, and I just don't know quite what to wear it with. I think if I had a pair of navy dungarees, I might put it under them. Um, I have got there's, I've got a couple of pinafore dresses, but I'm not sure that that feels quite right. And what I would normally pair it with, which is which is what I pair with everything, is a pair of navy. And what I would normally pair it with, which is which is what I pair with everything, is a pair of navy called peppermint wide leg pants. Um, but mine are too small. Um, my daughter has claimed them, and they are they are too snug for me, really. So that's fine. But I do need to make another pair because I literally wear those trousers with everything. So um, yeah, that'll probably be on this month's plans list, I think along with some see you at six fabric which is looking at me behind the screen so i didn't get a chance to do the other things that were on my list which was um there's a linen uh trillium dress which will become a top of some sort and that's probably more of a summer make that's probably like why that didn't get to the top of the list um, and because things have been quite busy so um let me know if you made something what you made whether you enjoyed this and whether you enjoy kind of being, if this was out of your comfort zone like it is for me, whether you enjoy being pushed out of your comfort zone. I mean, I do feel a bit like I kind of cheated because if I'm making it from a sheet, I may as well make it from a piece of fabric. Do you know what I mean? It's not that I've had to like think my brain around corners to come up with a way to make this out of something of something else. But um, yeah, that was where I got to with it. Uh, and I have a jumpsuit that I'm very happy with. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog please do me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already uh, there is going to be a plans video along soon and every now and then if I've got time I do a Friday sews as well just to keep you up to scratch with uh, what I've been up to uh, I hope wherever you are you have had a restful week that you are managing to create and replenish 
uh, and I wish you all the best till next time. Bye bye for now.